Hello, this is Sandip, your travel buddy. Today, our journey takes us to the heart of Ethiopia, to the resplendent Blue Nile Falls, known locally as Tis Isat, which translates to the smoking water. It's a sight that will leave you in awe. Imagine a curtain of water, 45 meters high and 400 meters wide, cascading down with a thunderous roar surrounded by the lush greenery of the Ethiopian highlands. The mist from the falls creates a mystical aura around it, earning its local name. Not many know that the Blue Nile Falls is one of the greatest falls in Africa, a testament to the captivating natural beauty that Ethiopia houses. It's a spectacle of nature's grandeur, a place where you can feel the raw power of water and the tranquility it brings after. So, are you ready to explore the enchanting allure of the Blue Nile Falls? Buckle up! Getting to the falls is quite an adventure in itself. The journey to the Blue Nile Falls is a spectacle that rivals the destination. As we embark on this expedition, it's not just the end point that captivates us, but the path we tread to get there. The road to the falls is an ever-changing canvas of scenic beauty. It is a winding route that takes us through a myriad of landscapes, each more breathtaking than the last. We traverse lush green valleys, craggy hills and expansive plains, their beauty amplified by the soft golden light of the Ethiopian sun. Along the way, we encounter the vibrant local markets. These bustling hubs of activity are a feast for the senses. The air is filled with the aroma of spices, the sound of haggling vendors, and the sight of brightly colored stalls showcasing an array of goods. It's a kaleidoscope of colors, sounds, and smells that captivates us, offering a glimpse into the everyday lives of the locals. Speaking of locals, their warmth and friendliness add to the charm of this journey. Their welcoming smiles, the stories they share, their infectious laughter. These interactions make us feel like we're a part of their community, even if it's just for a fleeting moment. It's a testament to their hospitality and the shared human connection that transcends cultural boundaries. Getting to the falls also involves a ride on the local transportation. Whether it's a rattling bus ride or a bumpy journey on a donkey cart, it's an experience that's uniquely Ethiopian. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, but about soaking in the sights, sounds, and the spirit of Ethiopia along the way. As we inch closer to our destination, the anticipation builds, the distant roar of the falls grows louder, the air becomes cooler, and the vegetation denser. We are almost there. The journey has been an adventure, a sensory experience that has prepared us for what's to come. The journey to the falls sets the stage for the grand spectacle that awaits. The Blue Nile Falls, in all its glory, is just around the corner. It's time to brace ourselves for the visual feast that is about to unfold. Once you reach the falls, you are greeted by a spectacle of nature's raw power. Imagine an orchestra of sights, sounds and sensations, all converging in a symphony of nature. This is the spectacle that awaits you at the Blue Nile Falls. The sight of the falls is nothing short of breathtaking. Cascading water tumbles over cliffs, plummeting into the chasm below with an unfettered exuberance. The water's journey from tranquil river to thunderous falls is a spectacle that captures the heart of every observer. As for the sound, it's a symphony unto itself. The roar of the falls drowns out all other noise, enveloping you in a cocoon of sound that resonates deep within. It's like the heartbeat of the earth, a constant thrumming that underscores the raw power and majesty of nature. It's a sound you don't just hear. You feel it, vibrating in your chest, echoing in your ears, a testament to the sheer force of the falls. And then there's the spray. Oh, the spray, a misty veil that dances in the sunlight, casting rainbows in its wake. This is not some gentle dew, but a robust spray, a fine mist that soaks your skin and invigorates your senses. It's a tangible reminder of the falls' might, a physical sensation that connects you to the spectacle unfolding before your eyes. And speaking of rainbows, they're a common sight around these parts. The interplay of light, water and mist often results in a stunning display of colors. Rainbows arch over the falls, their vibrant hues set against the backdrop of the roaring water and lush greenery. 
adding yet another layer to the spectacle. The Blue Nile Falls are more than a tourist attraction. They're a testament to the awe-inspiring power and beauty of nature. They encapsulate the wild spirit of Ethiopia, reflecting the country's rich landscapes in every drop of water that crashes down into the river below. The falls truly live up to their local name, the Smoking Water. The falls are not just about nature, they are also about the people. Just as the Blue Nile Falls shape the landscape, they also shape the lives and culture of the local people. The locals are a friendly and welcoming bunch who have lived in harmony with the falls for generations. Their lives beat to the rhythm of the falls, their culture and traditions deeply influenced by the power and the beauty of the natural spectacle they live alongside. The most vivid expression of this influence can be found in their music and dance, the rhythm of their drums, the enchanting melody of their folk songs, the graceful steps of their traditional dances, all seem to mimic the ebb and flow of the falls. And then there's the food, a delightful culinary journey waiting to be discovered. The local cuisine is a testament to their resourcefulness and their deep connection with the land. The use of locally sourced ingredients like teff, a grain native to the region in their staple dish in Jera, is a prime example of this. But it's not just in their music, dance or food that you see the influence of the falls. It's in their stories, their art, their festivals. The falls are a constant presence, a source of inspiration, a character in their tales, a muse for their artists, a backdrop for their celebrations. But perhaps what's most astounding is the way the locals have learned to coexist with the falls. They understand the power of the falls, respect it, and have found ways to live with it, without disturbing the delicate balance of nature. Their lives are a dance with the falls, a dance of coexistence, of mutual respect, of harmony. And so, a visit to the Blue Nile Falls is not just about witnessing a natural spectacle, it's about experiencing a way of life, a culture shaped by the rhythm of the falls, a community living in harmony with nature. The falls and the people are a testament to the symbiotic relationship between nature and culture. The beauty of the falls is preserved through concerted efforts. Both local and international entities have stepped up to the plate, acknowledging the need to safeguard this natural marvel for future generations to appreciate. At the forefront of these efforts are the Ethiopian government and environmental bodies, who work tirelessly to maintain the integrity of the Blue Nile Falls. These organizations have implemented conservation strategies that focus on the falls' ecological health, the protection of surrounding wildlife, and the preservation of the area's unique cultural heritage. They ensure that any development taking place in the vicinity of the falls is sustainable, causing minimal disruption to the natural ecosystem. But it's not just about the big players. Local communities also play a pivotal role in these preservation efforts. They actively participate in initiatives aimed at protecting the falls and its surrounding environment. They understand the intrinsic value of the falls, not only as a source of livelihood, but also as a symbol of their cultural identity. Yet, as crucial as these concerted efforts are, they alone are not enough. This is where responsible tourism comes into play. As visitors, we have a significant role in preserving the falls. We must respect the environment, adhere to local customs, and support the local economy in a sustainable manner. Responsible tourism means making conscious decisions during our visit. It's about sticking to the marked paths to prevent soil erosion, not littering and not disturbing the local wildlife. It's about understanding that our actions have a direct impact on the environment and the local community. Tourism can be a double-edged sword. While it brings much-needed revenue and international recognition, it can also lead to environmental degradation if not managed responsibly. But if we, as tourists, can commit to being mindful and respectful visitors, we can turn that sword into a plowshare contributing positively to the preservation of the falls. We can be more than just spectators of the falls' grandeur. We can be guardians of its beauty, 
ensuring that this natural spectacle continues to captivate and inspire for generations to come. Responsible tourism ensures that the beauty of the falls can be enjoyed by future generations. The Blue Nile Falls is a destination that offers much more than just a visual treat. As we journey together, we not only witnessed the awe-inspiring spectacle of the falls, but also immersed ourselves in the vibrant local culture that thrives in its shadow. We've seen the smiles of the locals, heard their stories, and felt their warmth and hospitality. We've learned how they respect and preserve this natural wonder, ensuring its splendor continues to inspire future generations. This experience has been more than just a travel escapade. It's been a lesson in coexistence, a lesson in preservation, a lesson in respecting and cherishing what nature has bestowed upon us. It's been a reminder of the simple joys, the profound beauty, and the indomitable spirit of human culture. The Blue Nile Falls, a mesmerizing spectacle of nature, a vibrant local culture, and a lesson in preservation. This is Sandip, your travel buddy, signing off.